Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and welcome to Destination Beauty. I'm Essie Castaneda here on YouTube and today I'm going to show you the Audrey. So if you're interested, just keep watching. The first product I'm using is by L'Oreal Paris and it's called the Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. Adding a couple of pumps to the tips of my fingers and then directly to my face and making sure that it is completely absorbed before we are moving on to foundation. Next using True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup and this is in the shade Natural to the back of my hand and buffing it into my skin with a flat top kabuki brush. And using circular motions, I'm going to give myself a thin application with an airbrush look. Now for a bit of coverage, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Paris True Match Crayon Corrector and this is in the shade N4-5. Under my eyes, on my chin, in the middle of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose for extra highlight. Then using that same brush to blend in this product. Now to set your makeup, I'm going to be using True Match Mineral and this is in the shade Natural Buff. I'm using a fluffy brush and dusting that all over my face for a really nice light coat of powder. Not too heavy because you don't want it to look unnatural. This look would not be complete without the iconic eyebrows. So I'm using Infallible Lacquer Liner in the color Bronze, taking a flat angled brush and drawing on the eyebrows and filling them in also. I have really thin eyebrows so I am going to have to make little flick motions with my brush to almost kind of create hairs and make them really wild and full. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be taking a light matte brown color and dusting that just into the hollows in my eyes, so that would be the crease point in windshield wiper motions, making sure that I emphasize the roundness. Next, using L'Oreal Paris the Infallible Black Buster Liquid Liner, and it looks like a chubby felt pen, so it's really easy to use. Starting with a thin line near the tear duct, moving towards the outer part of your lashes, and then creating that little flick for a winged eyeliner. Next, I'm using Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, and I'm going to be applying two thick coats of mascara to the top lashes and one thin coat to the bottom. Then finishing the eyes by popping on a pair of false eyelashes that still look natural but add drama. Now for a few tricks. I'm going to slim down my nose by using a matte powder that's a few shades deeper than my skin tone. Then I'm also going to be drawing on the illusion of having bigger nostrils because she had them and trust me, it does help with this look a lot. Next, I'm going to be contouring my face with another matte brown powder all over, making sure that I really concentrate on the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead, along my jawline, and near my chin as well. Now for some color on my cheeks. I'm going to be using Visible Lift Blur, and this is actually in the shade Soft Pink. It's a really cool product. It's kind of like a, a really nice creamy blush that you just pat onto your skin and it gives you a really natural flush. And last but certainly not least, the Color Reach Pencil in the color Forever Rose. Now, the actress I got this inspiration from had a larger bottom lip than she did the top lip, so I'm concentrating more so on the bottom. And this will complete the look. Now, there's only one thing missing, our bangs. I made these by using a small weft of hair extension, so I'm going to adjust those, then give myself a nice generous spray of L'Oreal Paris Alnet Satin Hairspray, and we are ready for breakfast. Where should we eat? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me here on Destination Beauty. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.